All right, so if we are working with scientific notation, right, in chemistry, uh, we'll oftentimes use scientific notation because we have numbers that are either very large or very small, right? Um, so we want to be able to uh, write them in a way that is much easier, okay? So an example is really just like one million, okay? One million, we've got a bunch of zeros on there, so, right? This is one million with all of our zeros at standard formation, right? It's, it's kind of a lot, right? But we could write one times 10 to the sixth, much easier, much quicker. We know that this is one million here, okay? So what we do for scientific not notation is we always move the decimal place uh, to make the number, right, the, the single or the first digit be between one and 9.9999999999. All, we, we go all the way up. We don't want two digits ahead of the decimal place, right? We only want a single digit uh, before the decimal place, right? So we don't want to go to 10, but we can go to nine point however many z uh, nines are afterwards, okay? So then we are gonna rearrange the decimal right, the number up to the right of it, uh, and use an exponent. Okay. And then now we get to check if we are able to take the, the one and move the decimal place, the, the correct number, right? So if I have my decimal here, right, with our million, you we can count one, two, three, four, five, six times over to the left, and now I only have one number before the decimal place. So I would write it as 1.0, right, times 10 to how, however many times I moved that decimal place. I moved it six times to the left, so it's 1 times 10 to the sixth, okay? So let's go through this example here as well, right? My decimal place is here, I gotta move it all the way over, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got 123. I still gotta keep going. 10, 11. Now I have only one digit before the decimal place. So this is going to be 1.23 times 10 to the 11th. Okay? So let's go through some more guided practice here. Okay, so three, four zeros, too many zeros, I don't even know. Let me go through, I'm gonna start where my decimal is, right, and I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all right? I move it seven times and I've got one decimal place before, or one digit before the decimal place, so I'll do 3.4 times 10, to the seventh, okay? Now, I've got a number that's smaller than one, so I need to make it bigger. So now I need to move my decimal place, let's count, one, two, three, four, five, six times. So I'm gonna do 6.7 times 10 to the negative sixth, right? If I move my decimal place to the right here, to, to get it into scientific notation, right? I'm moving it to the right. I need to do a negative number. So a big uh, check for us is to say, if I want a number larger than one, my exponent should be positive. If I want a number smaller than one, right? We're gonna go decimal places, then I'm gonna have a negative number, okay? 25,864. This one, one, two, three, four, two point five eight six four times ten to the fourth, right? I moved it four times, so I only have one digit before the decimal. Let me make sure that I can we can see that decimal. This one really is not any more convenient because we, we don't have any zeros that we're getting rid of. That's okay. All right, now Let's go from our scientific notation to our kind of normal standard notation. 
5.7 times 10 to the eighth. What I'm going to do, I've got a positive number, so I'm going to put my 5 and my 7 on there first. My decimal was here. I need to move it eight times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now let me fill in my zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All right, my decimal is all the way over here now. I added seven zeros because I also moved it past that seven before as well. Okay? So now let's go from our 6.34 times 10 to the negative 11th. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my 6.34 all the way over onto the right side. The reason being, right, I've got a negative number. So I'm going to have a bunch of zeros that are going to come before my 634, right? I've got a number that's going to be way less than 1. So I'm going to put it all the way over to the right, and then I'm going to move my decimal. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I needed some extra room, so I had to go down, right? It's going to be 0 0.000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000